The National Climate Change Committee has reconvened as part of the process to review the country's updated Nationally Determined Contribution, NDC 3.0. An NDC is a country's climate pledge under the Paris Agreement to reduce carbon emissions and adapt to climate change impacts. Chaired by the Department of Sustainable Development, this committee comprises stakeholders from the 10 climate change priority sectors, including private sector, civil society, and youth, weighing in on what the new pledges should look like. Onika Ben is the NDC in-country facilitator. So stakeholders are meeting today to actually give feedback on some of the opportunities for future ambition, to identify some of the barriers that would prevent us from achieving these ambitions, and then just to understand what has worked well and where we might have future scope to enhance the NDC of St. Lucia. This revision process is being assisted through the supporting the implementation of NDCs in the Caribbean, transforming the transport and energy sectors towards a low-carbon and climate-resilient future NDC tech project. Chief Sustainable Development and Environment Officer Don Pierre Nathaniel says the project is furnishing St. Lucia with technical support from an institute that strengthens the national planning of vulnerable countries in international climate negotiations. So the presentations today, we we're working with a team called Climate Analytics, uh, a scientific team, working with our local stakeholders in the Department of Sustainable Development and seeing where we are in terms of our targets, what we've done so far to be able to help to reduce our emissions, and what can we do in the future to continue to, to aim towards our target, even while we try to have more, uh, a more ambitious, a more ambitious NDC um, going forward. NDCs are revised and communicated to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC, every five years. In its most recent NDC, St. Lucia committed to reducing emissions from energy and transport sectors by 7%, below 2010 emissions by 2030. Anita Mantout, permanent secretary in the Department of Sustainable Development, says, quote, If we were to grade ourselves on the achievement of this target, our report booklet would show continuous, ambitious action to achieve these commitments with over 67 climate-specific projects currently being monitored and supported across the 10 climate priority sectors, end quote. The committee's engagement of these sectors, along with a national youth leaders consultation held previously, has been described as productive. So today's engagement has been absolutely phenomenal. We've had over 95% attendance of the National Climate Change Committee and every single stakeholder in the room has been very involved and very interactive and engaged in the session. So we've had feedback from agencies as it relates to what are some of the things that they want to see. We've even had feedback from the young people who met, who had their own consultation on Monday to really gather their thoughts and to share their priorities priorities for the next NDC. So we're really enthused by what we see and we know that today is not the end of the consultation but rather it's the beginning of the multi-stakeholder process to revise St. Lucia's nationally determined contribution. In keeping with the Paris Agreement's progression principle, St. Lucia is now expected to submit a more ambitious NDC in 2025. Prior to this submission, the committee is expected to meet once again to validate the contents of the 2025 NDC. St. Lucia would have submitted uh, prior NDCs in 2015 and another completed in 2020. And we are now completing our third NDC, NDC 3.0, which we expect to submit in, to, in 2025, March 2025. For the Department of Sustainable Development, I am Jessie Leons reporting.